Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to another Natural Galant bodybuilding vlog and today I'm going to be training some chest, back and biceps and that was just Glenn there. I was just talking to Glenn. He's one of the guys I talk to at the gym sometimes and uh, that's one of the things I like about the gym is the social interaction and uh, some guys out there take working out way too seriously in my opinion. I mean they, they basically have their hoodie pulled up right over their ears and they have their Beats by Dre on and they're walking around. I think they uh, sometimes call these guys douchebags. I don't know, gym douchebags, <laughs> whatever, whatever the term is. But the bottom line is, is I find some guys that have to really psych themselves up to get so serious. It means that they're not really that motivated in the first place, and they know that they're probably, you know, on tentative ground. You know, any minute they're, they might quit the gym, and they know that. So that's why they have to try to really concentrate and really focus to make sure that, you know, not one thing distracts them. Because hey, look a bird, then boom, out of the gym. You know, taking ballet classes. Who knows what it is, but. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's one of the things I really enjoy about working out. I really enjoy the social interaction. I really enjoy the guys and, and people. And like I said, the sharing of pain. We're all sharing pain. So, you know, once we start all sharing pain, uh, then uh, it's a little bit of a bonding experience. So, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a few subjects. You know, one is uh, that this is my two day split there and my strength is starting to go up. I'm actually starting to get some more reps uh, in my workouts because I'm allowing for full recovery. So for those of you out there that say, geez, Jason, doing whole body workouts, it's impossible to recover from that five days a week, six days a week. Uh, and I'm saying, yeah, you're probably right. It is impossible, but that's kind of the purpose behind it. It's almost to show your body a different type of stimulus that it has to adapt to. You're saying, hey, guess what? You're not strong enough. Look how overtrained you are get some sort of, uh, you know, factors involved here in adapting the body because this is what's happening in the environment. Now try to adapt to it. So what this does, it helps speed up your ability to recover. Okay, so that's one of the things that doing uh, whole body workouts frequently does. Uh, but I would recommend and I always do recommend that you stick to lighter weights when you do this, not really low rep ranges. I mean, it would be death for you if you did five rep days every single day and you trained whole body workouts five or six days a week. Guaranteed you would overtrain, you'd injure yourself, something would happen, uh, you know? That's why you see me changing my rep ranges up all the time, you know, doing anywhere from 10 to 15 to 35 reps sometimes, depending on the exercise and depending on how I feel, okay? So now the neat part is, is that now when I went to a two day split, and I've increased the amount of time I have for recovery, now I can increase the volume in my workout and cause a different type of adaptation or adaptive response in my body, okay? So it's kind of neat because now you start to hit different muscle fibers and now because your recovery is increased, now when you have one day off, it seems like a long amount of time off and your muscles actually recover at a faster rate, okay? So this is kind of a way that you can trick the body it's not the only way to train uh, like I said I'm not dogmatic by any means I just say there's just different ways of stimulating the system and by all means go with that you know stimulate it from different angles okay each stimulation will cause different results so that's something to bear in mind so in this workout I'm uh, you know doing some inclines and some bench press and this is you know one of the first times I've done it in a while because I'm doing the two-day split now so now I'm doing six sets or so or seven sets per body part which is again going to cause a different adaptation response in those muscle groups and I'm noticing I'm looking a little bit more pumped I notice I'm getting a little bit leaner or at least creating the illusion of leaner because I'm more pumped right there's more carb storage in the muscle okay so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is rep speed you know I had one person comment down below and they talked about you know the reason why Kevin Lavrone got injured is because his rep speed is wrong and all this kind of stuff and that you should be doing slow reps and you know based on the high intensity Mike Menser system and and I would call bullshit on that. Just so you know, I'm, I'm calling bullshit on that type of uh, technique right now because I have tried it. I have tried the slow rep technique and all those slow reps can be good for stimulating certain muscle fibers. Just like I talked about before, there's different types of stimulation for different muscle fibers. I would say that slow rep speed is not quite as good for tearing down the power fibers. Okay, so when I've actually done a month or two of slow repetitions, and of course you have to use lighter weight in order to do this, 
the body will adapt differently and I have lost size doing that. I've lost the overall pump and there are certain muscle groups that seem to respond better to that type of training than other muscle groups, okay? So this is the other thing to bear in mind. It doesn't mean slow reps are bad. I encourage you to do slow reps in your sets to mix it up. It's, it's like a type of endurance workout. It's like a type of uh, contraction that really stimulates those endurance fibers. But when you wanna hit the fast twitch fibers, super slow reps is just not the way to do it, you know? And I also find that when you do super slow and you're super strict, you'll notice that there are some weak links in the exercise where you're really weak that it actually becomes almost a stumbling block between you hitting those other muscle fibers in the muscle. Like there's certain muscle fibers that get underutilized or under stimulated because you're trying to be so strict, okay? So it's a nice balance between the two. You really have to find that balance. You know, I'm not saying you train super ballistic and I'm not saying train super slow. I'm saying mix it up, mix it up between the two and see what happens. Like this is the way I dumbbell curl and sure having the torn bicep from the chiropractor, you know, that happened 15 years ago causes my arm to move a little bit differently. And that's why my shoulders are a little uneven here and there. Okay. But the fact is, is that I experiment with slow reps and squeeze at the top as well as a little bit more ballistic reps so I can stimulate different parts of the torque curve to hit the muscle overall, okay? That's the whole point. Train the muscles, not the joints. You want to make sure that you're hitting the muscle from every single angle, not just one angle. And I find that people that get locked into one way of training, they just end up stimulating one type of muscle group or one muscle fiber type, but they leave a lot of the other muscle fiber types alone, you know? So I've seen also other people not pay attention to themselves as far as some types of training will just naturally work really well for you. So if you are closed minded and you don't try different things, you might be shortchanging yourself in some of the results you can get. Okay. I used to know a guy that used to do super slow reps and that guy was huge. He was a natural bodybuilder and he was absolutely huge and slow reps actually worked for him. They just didn't work for me. So again, I'm not saying for you to train only one way. I'm saying try it all out and see which way really stimulates your torque curve, really helps you cause that adaptive response in your own body. So as you can see, I did some reps that were more ballistic and some reps that were more slow. And that's really the way I combine my workouts. It's really like doing high reps and low reps. You know, the speed of the reps will stimulate different types of muscle fibers. So it's really important for you to consider that. And uh, it's important to visualize what it is you want to achieve, you know? So I've got uh, the ghost of Jason in the background there, you know, uh, posing. <laughs> but uh, anyway, from the, the standing bicep curls, what I've went to is some preacher curls. And this is a really weak movement for me just because of the tear of the bicep there. But I like it because it does stimulate different muscle fibers in the arm. So I would recommend for you if you are doing preacher curls never to lock your arms out of the bottom there are some people that think that that's necessary and they think that's a good thing but what happens you start to actually just pull on the ligaments and tendons and the tendon insertions actually from the bicep you're not actually stimulating more muscle tissue you're actually just probably straining your elbows so if you are experiencing elbow pain then just bear that in mind when you're doing preacher so so i hope that this video helps you out and thanks a lot for watching and thanks for sharing my stuff if you like it and uh, take care for now No, I have some music for purchase at naturalgallantbodybuilding.com and I make all my music for my videos. Uh, the music that's playing in the background right now, I made that too. But if you want to check it out or buy some music and if you want to use it in your own videos, just shoot me an email and we'll talk about it and go from there. But yeah, check it out at naturalgallantbodybuilding.com. So thanks for watching and take care for now.